and we'll start talking about the best bets of last week, UFC Vegas 86. Let's head right on into how that went. So, of course, we'll open up with the triple play. The triple play, of course, is where we go through, and I can't believe I just hit the space bar to go to the next slide when I had the remote right in my hand. UFC Vegas 86, triple play. So what's the triple play, of course? You take three of the people that got the edge last week, you put them together. That ended up being Pfeiffer, Body Bags Pfeiffer, Balaji Oki making his debut, and Robocop Rodriguez in there. I don't know if you could tell, Joe Pfeiffer definitely did lose. That was an L. So it didn't really go too well this week. Well, actually, that's really not too bad. I mean, you know, two out of three ain't bad, but sadly, that doesn't get you any money. So that brings us to six and eight. Six and eight. Not great. Not great. Even worse. Of course, that brings us down a little bit further. 2.13 units in the hole for the triple play. Not ideal, but again, hopefully we can bring that up. But we move on to the Grand Slam. Uh, did we win? Did we not? We did not. But Grand Slam, of course, is we would get four of the people, four legs instead of three, four people that got the edge last week. This week, or last week, I should say, that ended up being Ige, who brought home the win. Pfeiffer, again, he was in both. So, of course, we ended up losing both parlays. Marcos, that ended up being a no contest and then Clark ended up losing as well so I mean that was just an outright disaster that that parlay except for of course the one lone bright spot being Dan Ige so that brings us to another loss which is seven and seven we're even you know seven and seven all right um but because it's a four leg because these are four leg parlays you know easier to make profit on these so we're actually still in the green here. We are still in the green. That's 2.2 units up with those. And if you do the math, we are actually keeping that 007 from last week, but that's on the parlay. So we've actually got a profit of 0 .07, 007 um, in the parlays. So there's a, just a tiny little profit there in the parlays. You know, is it big? No, but... Yeah, it's basically even. So we'll take that. We'll take that. And, you know, that goes into what I said before. Like, maybe I'll switch the emphasis. Maybe I'll put one unit or like maybe 0.75 units on uh, the Grand Slam. I don't know. You know, we'll, we'll see how this keeps going week after week. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll probably adjust the numbers here and there, but we'll see how that goes. Then we had the top dog, the top dog being my favorite underdog of the week last week. That was Bogdan Gushkov. He was at, uh, I believe it was plus 100 or plus 110. One of those two, I can't remember. Pretty close fight, honestly. I uh, struggled with the grappling of whoever he was fighting. I honestly can't remember who it was now. I uh, started struggling with the grappling but then he started to get, then he actually did get up and started to land his punches there, which is what I was hoping for. I was hoping he would start to land his punches because it's, oh yeah, it was Pauga, right? Because I knew as soon as he started landing those punches on Pauga, Pauga was going to start to fall apart and he was going to be able to win. At least that's what I was hoping for, you know, because uh, you never know. You never know with these debuts. We've been burned by these before, of course. And I mean, that even happened with us two weeks ago in the the sniper pick but it worked out this time he got the win which means we got the win which means it's a good old 10-4 buddy we got the win and that brings us to another win which i mean we're just stacking up these wins in the top dog with 7.1 units total up there i mean we are absolutely killing it with these underdogs just outrageously in the green there 7.1 amazing amazing stuff that brings us of course to the sniper pick my most confident pick of the week and that was none other than dan 50k ige who very much lived up to that name 
completely rock solid. I told you, I told you he was rock solid. Rock solid is rock solid can be really barely got hit at all. Uh, hit Feely a lot and then knocked him out with a pretty amazing KO, I gotta say. Was it a spectacular one shot, you know, like spinning back fist or uppercut? No, it was just clean. It was just as clean as clean, cause be, clean can be landed the punch one follow-up walk-off ko like that absolutely beautiful that gets us the win and look at that it's another 10-4 for us and that brings us to not a profit yet we still didn't get our money back because of course that thomas peterson huge l that we took uh last time but that brings us up to 4.07 units and this is what I mean. I mean, we were seven something units down last week. We gained three units back just in the one week. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's really easy to stack up those units, stack those units back up when you're doing the sniper pick. A little bit of a sneak preview this week, though. Probably not going to be gaining huge profit on this one, but we should get a pretty easy W. But if you want to check that out, you can go check out the best bets for this week and of course we'll be talking about that later in this stream moving on it is oh actually no we're not moving on that brings us to an all-time record of 3.1 so look at that like i said the system has worked the system provides <laughs> 3.1 units and like i said we were at 0 0.07 last week so that's 3.03 units up on the all-time well more on the all-time record bringing us to 3.1 so it was a good week it was a good week and hopefully we can keep rolling on that all on, on over into the pay-per-view usually pay-per-views are knock on wood a little bit easier to predict and a little bit well much easier to get a profit on so hopefully that holds up in this week and that's what we will be talking about next